A number of companies are looking beyond the wrist at the next frontier in wearable technology. Few people know that the finger can provide a useful snapshot of a person's overall health. This is because it contains arteries that can be sensed by finger-worn devices to capture physiological data such as your heart rate and blood oxygen. Slim and sleek uh, smart rings are generating lots of interest, particularly amongst people who are after something that is useful as well as lightweight and fashionable. The big brands such as Apple, Fitbit and Garmin are yet to enter this area, but there are a few pl other players with interesting offerings. One of these is Wolu. Their FDA registered O2 ring continuously monitors your blood oxygen, heart rate and movement with clinical grade accuracy. Slip it onto your thumb or index finger and it will do the rest. You can view data in real time on the device itself or sync the ring with the app or the accompanying PC or Mac software for detailed analysis and reports on trends. Despite the name, uh, the O2 ring is not a ring in, in the classical sense. The device is made of soft silicone that has a rubberized feel to it. It is also larger than a typical ring, so it's more about function than style. But it is smaller and much less cumbersome than fingertip blood oxygen monitors, which it is meant to replace. While it is not fancy, the whole thing does feel solidly built. A large screen, screen sits on top, which is easy to read thanks to its size. Uh, on one side of the display is a touch key that you can use to wake up the screen and cycle through time, heart rate, oxygen level readings. There's no power button. As soon as you slip on the ring, it will turn on the sensor and the screen will spring to life. When you remove the ring, it will switch off automatically after a few seconds. Uh, you are meant to wear the O2 ring on your thumb finger. If that feels too tight, the other option is to use the index finger. I found the band approach to be much more comfortable than fingertip alternatives as it does not get in the way of anything. You can type and do pretty much anything you want while wearing the ring. To properly test it out, for a week I wore the Wellu O2 ring every night during sleep. With all the typical tossing and turning, it stayed in place and never felt in danger of slipping off. The only part of the design I'm a bit cautious about is the flexible tip at the end of the silicone band. It seems a bit flimsy. I'm not sure if it might break at some point with long-term use. The O2 ring has built-in memory, which enables it to work independently without a phone. There are four small memory cards built in. Each can store about 10 hours of data. This means you do, you, you do need to sync uh, the ring with the app from time to time. So if you track sleep each night, after four or five nights, you'll need to fire up the app. If you don't, the oldest recording will be deleted when the memory is full. As far as the all important battery life, the oxygen ring has an advertised running time of between 12 and 16 hours on a single charge. Uh, the company says this is enough for two nights. In practice though, I found that it was best to charge it after a full night's sleep. The technology that is used by the O2 ring is something called transmissive oximetry. This is trusted and it is used in hospitals and clinics. Smartwatches use reflective technology, which is not seen to be as accurate. With transmissive oximetry, a device passes two wavelengths of light through a thin part of the body to a photo detector. It then measures the changing absorbance at each of the wavelengths. Fingertips are perfect for such measurements as they have higher blood flow rates than other tissues. Hence the accuracy of the O2 ring and traditional clip-on fingertip oximeters. Apart from the accuracy, what distinguishes the O2 ring from other such devices is the sampling rate. Oxygen levels, pulse rate and motion data is captured at one second intervals. For those with medical conditions such as sleep apnea, the high sampling rate will be very important. You can use the ring itself for real-time blood oxygen and heart rate readings. Once you slip the device on, it will start to capture measurements uh, for about a minute or so before shutting off the display so you can sleep. That simple. When you remove it from your finger, as mentioned, after a few seconds it will power itself off. In addition to showing your readings on its display, the O2 ring vibrates to alert the wearer if he or she has approached the preset limits. You can customize these. The idea is that this will warn you of heart abnormalities or hypoxic uh, events so that you can take a break to recover. So for example, if your oxygen level dips below the configured threshold during sleep, uh, the vibration will wake you up so that you can adjust your sleep position. 
for those that suffer from sleep apnea, this is a feature that cheap oxygen monitors simply do not have. So this feature alone justifies the higher price point of the O2 ring as compared to other uh, such devices. Uh, the discrete vibration also helps your partner sleep better. You are the only person that will wake up. While you can read the measurements on the device screen, much more data can be found in the smartphone app. Uh, I found the perfusion index to be a nice feature. Similar to an indication of the strength of a cell phone, phone signal, it quantifies the quality of the pulse reading. Blood oxygen measurements appear to be accurate when compared with a traditional oximeter. Uh, that's to be expected considering the company has secured FDA approval for the device. Each individual session shows a wealth of data. There's a handy O2 scorecard that quantifies your oxygen short, uh, shortage during sleep. It combines frequency, duration, and depth of oxygen drops. In my case, I was typically at 9.8 or 9.9, .9, which is consider considered to be excellent. If the score turns yellow or red, uh, the company suggests you speak to your doctor for advice. To make this easier, the O2 ring can create uh, an SPO2 report in PDF format that you can email to your doctor. Other data uh, that is shown uh, includes your average pulse rate for the session, average SPO2, the number of drops over 4%, and the lowest SPO2 reading. I also like the fact that you can have the option of uh, that you have the option of installing PC or Mac software uh, that is called O2 Insights Pro. Simply download it from the company's website. It works exactly the same as the smartphone app, but everything is displayed on a much larger screen format that is easier to read. The Value O2 Ring is a very useful product, but it is not for everyone. The device is primarily designed for people who need to track their oxygen levels uh, in great detail, uh, particularly those who have or suspect they have sleep apnea or another medical problem. If you've recently tested uh, COVID positive, this ring might give you peace of mind. The device predominantly does one thing and it does it well. It tracks your blood oxygen in one second intervals with medical grade accuracy. Other stats that you'll get are heart rate and body movement. The thing will also buzz you into alertness if you're experiencing low oxygen levels or irregular heart rates. For those that suffer from sleep conditions, it could be a lifesaver. Shift your position and the buzzing will stop. The ring is quite big in size, so it is not something you would want to wear around the clock. But for measurements at home, in the office, or overnight, it is quite useful. The device is also well made and comfortable to wear, in my case, on my thumb. Typically retailing for around $170 on the company's website, the O2 ring is expensive if all you need are ad hoc blood oxygen and heart rate readings. A typical fingerprint pulse oximeter is a much cheaper option. But if you need overnight monitoring with alarms and long-term tracking, then it is probably the best option out there. For some, it might become the most important piece of jewelry. To sweeten the deal, click on the link below and use coupon GW10. This will give you a 10% discount on your purchase.